Hello, guys and gals, animal friends, and spirit pals. Welcome to the Spirit Whisper channel. Channel. Howdy ho. And way to go. Hello there. Well, it's Friday night, 927. Uh, that would be uh, September 27th. It's actually 10 o'clock. Uh, dark. And the stormy weather has decided to settle down some. Um, here in Kentucky, far from the coast, we had quite a bit of rain and really lots of wind. Quite a bit more than I thought would happen from Hurricane Helene. Uh, so, I looked out in the backyard. I have like a hundred tree branches in the yard now to pick up tomorrow. And lots of rain. My whole yard became a lake. But it settled down. The wind's still blowing, but not nearly as bad. So, of course, it also blew my internet off um, for a couple hours in the middle of the day. Oh, yippee. But now it's back up and running. So I thought I'd get on here for a quick minute. Do just a little bit of tarot reading, tarot tickling, and see if you guys want to join in. You can see Meriwether today back there on the counter in the kitchen. That's my no count cat Meriwether. Okay, you know, I'm just going to do a couple things. I wanted to look at that ever popular debate that's supposedly happening on. October 1st uh, between the vice for presidential candidates. Now again, I doubt I'll tune in. But I just want to look and see, you know, how's that energy looking? First of all, I'm going to get even more specific. How is the debate and the energy around the debate uh, looking uh, for B.J. Vance, the Republican candidate. How's he doing? I'm sure he's cocky and full of himself, but let's see what the cards think. That's like think with an A, think. What them cards thinking? You might be able to hear my washer because I'm washing some clothes too. No, actually, that's the dryer, but I notice it's being awful loud. Really? I might close it because I can hear you guys bitching about it now. Hold on. Burn out, burn out, burn out. Hi, Mary Weather. What's that noise? Mary Weather, my little sugar feather. Okay, there's that. Luckily, I had on some britches. So you didn't get to see my sexy legs. And soft, juicy parts. Okay, let's see. Now, where were we? We were looking at the ever-popular B.J. Vance. And how his energy looks for the debate. Mm -hmm. Hello there, supposed hillbilly, fake hillbilly. Huh, well, there's that card. Okay, there's another one. <laughs> That's the name of the game. I'm going to pull at least three. Come on, BJ. How's it going for you? Okay, look at there. We're going to go a couple more. Okay, donkey. Okay. 
tự nhiên nhé Okay, great. Of course, we knew we couldn't really do a reading here without uh, women showing up. <laughs> They're here in force. Okay, first thing I got is the Six of Cups. But the interesting thing about this Six of Cups is, uh-oh, ambulance is needed. <laughs> Somebody got a boo-boo. So this makes me feel like, look, here they come with the stretcher. Um, yeah, urgency, it says. Instead of emergency, we just see urgency. Um, so it makes me think. He's, so we're looking at BJ. Um the Vanster, um, that he's going to be kind of weak, right? He's going to come off pretty weak and lame. There's a little lame in there, too. He's going to spend a lot of time defending himself and his platform but even more specifically, defending his stance against women. He comes in with a plan, uh, you know, that he's worked on. And, you know, he comes in there all like, I got a plan, I'm going to carry it out. So, he thinks he's prepared. Now this six of coins comes up, and this would be like giving and receiving, um, like a back and forth. So it looks like, you know, debating kind of. Um, but the interesting thing about this one, what's he got in his hand there? I can't tell. What is that? Don't have a clue what this guy's got in his hand. Uh, the older guy, you know, is up. He's got justice, the, the scales in his hand, scales of justice. He's standing, this douche over here is having coffee. You know, there's like a casualness to him about destroying America <laughs> that doesn't really go over well here. You know, when you compare the two, One's a much more upstanding, like, guy. I think this guy that's standing up, this older guy, comes out, looks like the winner in this, I'm going to say, even though we're reading about him. And so, during the debate... Women come up. So here's the Eight of Swords. You know, this is that card that comes up all the time with both him and Trump. I keep getting this card, or, you know, in a different deck, but it's always this um, Eight of Swords where imprisoning women, stabbing women, putting women um, in this state of imprisonment, taking their rights away, is going to be brought up during the debate, and it ain't going to happen much. It, it, it's going to be a big part of it. As well as the Nine of Coins. Now, this, because we've got marijuana and stuff in this picture, it's also like progressive ideas. Um, stay out of our business. Uh, don't tell people what to do especially not women. 
but also other things that you know they oppose everything um, him he has his high and mighty morals that he thinks everybody needs to live by but I'm going to talk about the, that there's more progressive ideas that come up here um, which that would include women's rights as if that's progressive but according to these guys it is so we got two women here well we really got three in the middle of his reading this one's ready to hit him with the big stick this one's over him she just went and got high instead and this one's really sick I can't ever hold up the right mother freaking card this one <laughs> is her being sick of feeling imprisoned by somebody else's screwed up ideas and words. Then the final card for his uh, lovely reading. <laughs> so I did six, but then this other one came up as the last one. Is the Ten of Swords. Don't look that great. Looks like he ends up being a big old loser. Of course, he starts out as a loser because he is a loser, um, just in general. Uh, but the this women's rights issue, he really can't get out from under it, right? It's like there's the swords that they use to tie women down. They're pulling them up. And sticking them in your back, baby. So that was a tasty reading, wasn't it? For the Vanster. Okay, let's look at... I'm going to switch cards because that deck now has BJ Juju on it. Let's do a little read it. So now let's look at Walls's energy. Um, with the debate. Really? You're not going to lie? Even as a little bit? This sage stick is so tightly wound. Reminds me of a couple people I know. That it won't set off. Although those people are likely to set off. There we go. Mmm. Good juju. Good juju. All right, let's look at Tim Tim, bada bim. How's his energy doing in regards to this thing we're calling a debate? It might actually seem a little more like a debate. Okay, okay, okay. They both got the six of coins. That back and forth energy between two people. Yes, Tim, I'm liking these cards. Feel like I'm gonna share them with you guys at any moment. Okay. Good. for him too because we did that many okay great all righty 
Sometimes I'll put another card because it'll end like it's not an end. It's like almost the end. So I'll just take another card off the top to see if, wait, what happened? It wasn't really ending. Oh, and then there's the bottom. There's the bottom for Tim. The good old Three of Cups. Joyous dancing and celebrating, especially if you're a woman. So that would tend to say he comes out the wiener of this one. So, Tim comes in prepared to hang this young guy up by his toes. He's coming in to get him. So this, the scale comes in here in the middle. These cards, I'll show you all three of them. But the upside down hangman is on one side of the scale, you know, of the back and forth. And then the card after that is the empress on the other side. So if you were to say of the two, Vance or Walls, who would you think the Empress card would be most likely to represent? Right, Tim Walls. Uh, because, what is it? It's women. Um, Empress, too, is a lot of times pregnant. Look, she's got a baby. Women's rights, birth rights, birth control rights, birth, birth. Also, we can't ignore the fact that this is also Mother Earth. Only one of them gives a rat's ass about the health of the planet. There's another woman they don't like. Yep, and sure, she's a single cat lady, but she also has lots of children, so she's not really childless. Uh, so, it's this guy that's standing for Mother Earth, women's rights, and all that against this dude flipping around. Um, he's kind of backwards man, right? Tim's planning on suspending him. So we're talking about Tim again. He has this temperance angel with him. She's a beautiful female angel. She brings balance, um, serenity, peace, tranquility, I feel like even though jerk face, like he, you know, he's going to do a lot of trying to stab him with swords, BJ, stabbing Tim. A lot of it's lying, you know, as usual. Republicans can't really talk without lying. Um, and this dude caught right on to that. So he'll be stabbing him with this lie and that lie. He's going to be trying his best to knock um, Tim down, uh, you know, with his lies and his barbs. But the good news is there's this temperance angel that's got Tim's back. So it kind of helps. It keeps him in balance. He doesn't get pushed by all that. He just responds like, um, I'm going to say, gives it back to him. Another subject besides women and all that that Tim's going to bring up, seems to me like, is money and about how these guys in the red coats and the orange coats want to keep it all for themselves. They're not really interested in spreading it around to others. They got their little chest, their little personal treasure chest. They want to keep the money for them. The four of coins. Selfish, greedy, keeping it. Only looking out for them. Not the world. Them. And Tim's going to point that out about their plans about tariffs and all that crap. I bring up tariffs too because we've got that globe in there. That project 2025. Tim's going to bring up a lot of that. 
making jerk face looking upside down. And then for Tim, the last card that came up for Tim is this card. We've gotten a few times this Ten of Cups card, which it's like a win for families, for women, for women with little kitty cats, but they have a cute little rat or mouse. That's a rat, I think, that's sleeping too. Big happy family. Everybody's getting along. Look at all their full cups up on the mantle. Nice warm fire, delicious stew on the fire. Cups, 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 love, warmth, hug a bug, loving. That again looks like a win for Tim. That's what I'm going to say. Now, you know, they'll spin it however they want to. I think if you watch it, though, uh, Tim will see much more reasonable and much more somebody you would like to be friends with or have around. Or uh, He just comes across a lot more authentic and um, real. Uh, that's what I'm hearing about that. So now one other thing I wanted to look at while we're here is I'm wondering if the stuff with Judge uh, Chuchkin and um, Jack Smith, all of that, that's so much it kind of gives me a little bit of a headache. Is that going to amount to anything before the election? They keep threatening us with it as if it might. I'm going to pull a few cards from a couple of decks and see what we get. Because the stuff with Jack Smith and the judge and the, all that they're planning on releasing or whatever. Can't keep up with it, but it's supposed to happen in October. Is that going to make a bit of difference in our lives, in the election, in the downfall of the Oompa Loompa? That's really what I want to know. Will that aid in his inevitable downfall? Here we go. Oh, Mr. Oompa, well... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you trying to tell me here, cards? I'm going to pull one more from this deck. Oops. Oh, but then, of course, I also see this one. Oh, no, and then the bottom just keeps going. Okay, pull those two too because they insisted on it. So I'm going to use um, this deck too to pull a couple more cards. This is called Before Tarot. The one with the red backs are the, um, what's it called? The, never can think of it. But I use those all the time, the red deck. Pulp. Wow. Pulp Tarot. This deck is called Before Tarot. And we're going to pull a couple more cards about this shenanigan with the judge and Jackie. about like uh, 
Oh, I feel like I want a little bit more clarity about the effect it might have on the election. I see a lot of stuff happening here in these cards. These are cards. But I'm wondering, like, a little more clarity on, you know, what's the outcome of it? It might already have told me, and I'm just not really... Okay, well, these cards are being a little more dramatic. All righty. Love it. So, first thing to see is Jack, in this layout, I'm going to call this card him, King of Cups. He's on the side of, you know, he's more on the side of good than on bad, and he's about to spill the juice. He got some juice to spill, and he's going to be spilling it. He and the judge, there she is, are on the same page. This could almost look like her. They're supporting one another. So this information that's coming forward does, it's like a win well, in this card, it's going to say United States, but a lot of times, I mean, a women, but a lot of times I'll call the star, star card like a United States card because it's got stars on it, you know, like stars and stripes. But, so in this card, it's indicating that that disclosure, that, you know, bringing this information forward, spilling the juice, um, is beneficial to the U.S., and to women in the U.S. So that would make me think it does affect the election. It also gives women even more ammunition as if they needed it. They're already prepared. It's almost like we're up to our toes and reasons to skewer this dude and I feel like this brings out more so I don't know exactly what all they're going to talk about really because isn't it more about the stolen documents I think But, you know, I was saying, what does it bring out? What What's the result? More thievery. Um, grab it onto money. Stealing. Uh, going down with the money train. There's going to be like money. Money, money, money. And not good stuff about money. Um, greed. Stinginess. Stealing. The four pinnacles. Keeping it all. Again with the rich people. There's something about that, like, that could even be things like receiving money for information or something like that coming out. And when I ask about how does this affect, you know, or, this is interesting because this is kind of like the two of them, Jack Smith and the judge. Mm, moving forward, you know, 
into calmer waters. See how they tried to put all these blocks up and all this stop, you know, they've been trying to stop it, stop it, delay it, delay it, delay it. And even in spite of all that baloney, they are still sailing along. We're sailing along on Moonlight Bay. There they go. Looks good for them. And in fact, well, I get that card twice with this other deck too. It's sort of a partnership made in heaven, a little bit, between Jack and the judge. Um, even if it's an unspoken one, where they don't actually get to interact much, they're on the same page and they make a good team. One supports the other about this event. They got their, they got what they need. They're getting up on the, you know, they're loading up. Here's the Six of Swords again. They're loading up because this is um, the before deck. So they're loading up, ready to sail along, you know. They're getting the boat ready. They're getting all their, everything ready. <coughs> and again, they're working for a common outcome, really, a common goal. It's called justice and um, being held accountable. Um, so when we talk about what does it do, it strikes quite a blow, like it's... Um, page of swords, new information that we haven't really heard before uh, being broadcast. Look at that hawk up there, you know, shouting the word. Uh, it's brand new information, swords, stuff we haven't heard before uh, being said or read. And it's pretty powerful or strong evidence about keeping things that don't necessarily belong to you. We get this four, this four of um, coins again. We got that twice too. And both times it's more like, look at them kind of worshiping. And these people look like they're all from different places like maybe different parts of the world, pledging money and favors to this dude in the orange turtleneck and the big cape. There's info about that. Some kind of nefarious deals and things like that with... And again, when I ask, how does that affect the election? It favors the star. Look, we got the star twice, too. What the? Both cards. How many cards did we get exactly the same in two different decks? Come on, people. We got the four of pinnacles twice. We got the six of swords twice. And the star twice. Uh, now look at this one, too. It's a win for women, a win for the United States. Again, I'm going to say the exact same thing. And in this one, look at that. She's got a stork on her shoulder. What does a stork mean? That's pretty weird that there's a stork. Um, you know, because it brings in children, unborn children. I know that that information's not really about that or whatever, but it does. When I talk about the election, it continues to support it gate brings more support to that side that's for women's rights even though it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with that literally but it goes in favor of that side is what the cards are telling me and plus really the women won't stay out of the readings because it's very important to them 
Now, when I said, how's this going to affect him? I pulled a couple of these cards, and they're interesting. So I'm going to show them to you. It alienates him even more. It He loses more fans. They realize how he's not really for them. He's like, he might as well be from another planet, actually, with this information. There's this revolving door because I think this information also shows how cavalier he was with information and with favors and one after another coming in and out and it was there was no following protocol or anything you know it was just a revolving door of one thing after another and that's gonna you know there's a a bevy of information I think that comes through and It doesn't help with his, it does nothing to help his, for you know, Trump's forward movement or his comfort or it makes him even more uncomfortable than he was before it came out. So it don't help. Broken bed. You know, there's no comfort in that bed. Look at it. It takes a toll. I'll let the covers on that bed are all orange. Does it ever stop? And pretty much hangs him out to dry. It's like beef jerky. Come put him on a hook, hang him up there, turn him into jerky. It's not good. So, you know, my general thing, what I was going to look at is, does this have any kind of a anything or is it just another nerve-wracking thing that amounts to nothing when it comes to the Oompa. But according to these cards, they're saying, nay, Mark, don't be so negative. <laughs> there is uh, more to come. Could you please be positive <laughs> and anticipate good things happening even if they're not for the oompa i don't anticipate a lot of good happening for him he would have been better off if it had just stopped already you know it's just going deeper 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 in debt saint peter don't you call me cause i can't go getting worse and worse and worse the thing about it is it's hard to have a lot of sympathy or any because you know he's been so dedicated to it all along to just you know his narcissistic crazy ego and it goes where it goes. It, it doesn't, just because you say you're Donald Trump and uh, no rules or anything apply to you, honestly, the rules of nature, the natural laws of the universe, apply to everybody, even Oompa Loompas. Um, and he is realizing it, that, you know, He ain't even hiding it that well, but he's getting riddled with anxiety. This is Oompa. He's heading for <laughs> annihilation, the end, the big ending. Poof, out in the puff of smoke. 
sometimes it feels like it's there's a potential for it to be like a big O ending, but other times it feels like it's just the end. It ends, it goes out with a whimper or a whisper instead of a big fanfare. All right, well, that don't look great, but I like it. At least it looked like there was something going to happen from that. Secretly in my heart, I thought it might, and I was hoping it would, but I wanted the cards to tell me. All right, guys, I love you. I hope you have fun. Uh, I was wearing my hurricane hat <laughs> tonight, and I really is my thinking cap. Do a little thinking. Um, so I hope you liked it. Sparkly. And my bears, my huggy bears. Love you guys, and I'll see you again real soon. I'm going to try to get this uploaded sooner than later.